morning. It's day two of Bauma here in Germany. This time we are very excited. Together with us is uh, Michel, the product manager of Liquor. I'm very Hello. glad that uh, you welcomed us to your place. I think it's one of the most of the best places here in Bauma this yeah. year. This machinery uh, makes Terminator look like a Playmobil, right? It's a brand new model. Yeah. We are very excited. We want to learn everything about this. I think, is it available in the market? Yeah, so this is the market presentation and the market launch, the official market launch okay. will be in 2024. Because uh, this machine will replace the 9250, which was a previous model, started in 2006. And this is now the new model, which will replace the 9250. And for us, we have just to have an overlapping phase because we already have some parts on the, the, in the factory for the 9250, the latest machines. So the number must be three or four machines left. And after we are changing to this model, and this is in 2024. Okay, some technical specs about this one. Okay. So what are we going to, to see in the new model of your so company? This new model is a new generation 8 machine. So the first one was a 9600 presented at Mine Expo last year. And this is now the second model in generation 8, and that's the 9300. So it's a 250 ton machine. We have 16.5 cubic meter for the backhaul configuration and 16 cubic meter for the face shovel configuration. The engine inside is a Cummins engine, QSK38, with 1,007 kilowatts. Perfect. What about the horsepower? Uh, the conversion horsepower? Yes. I don't know, to be honest, exactly. It's 1,007 kilowatts, so the, con okay. the conversion, I can give you the, the number after. Okay, it's, it's, very, it's very important, uh, uh, the consumption and the uh, footprint, the carbon oxide footprint of yeah. this uh, machinery. Can you provide us some information about so this? The Generation 8 for us was the milestone where we are introducing new technologies, especially reduce the fuel consumption of the engine. So we have now two installation of features. It's the Liber power efficiency feature. So we have the engine control and the hydraulic control. This is the engine control is where we are managing the diesel a little bit different, the diesel engine a little bit different. And the hydraulic control is also how we are managing the hydraulic architecture. And overall, we can reduce the fuel consumption of about 15% compared to the previous one. That, that's a great number. Does the operator have the opportunity to change the bucket in order to work in a different uh, landscapes, in a different terrains? So for mining excavator, it's not so much the case that you have some okay. quick couplings in the front. Mostly, when we have the project discussing with the customers, we are looking what is what is the conditions, what is the abruptness of the of the material, and after we are defining with him together the bucket, and this is the bucket will be fitted on the machine, and it's coming directly from the factory or from our affiliates. So That's you do better. not have the same thing okay. as on the earth moving where they are changing the tool or the. Buckets. Understand, yeah. understand. Uh, I can't wait to go upstairs. I can't wait to go upstairs. Okay. Can we be upstairs? No, for okay. sure. Okay. After you. This time we are going to be upstairs and Michel uh, let me to go first. Go okay. First. So this time is for you. After <laughs> oh, you, thank, after you, you thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a VIP. <laughs> That's a VIP. Uh, we're in the cabin right now. Michel uh, wants to give uh, something to me. Oh, <laughs> that's a big gift. Okay. Uh, where have I to put it? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. And you tell. Clockwise, right? Okay. Now all the electronic stuff is starting. Okay. There is a camera. So on the top, you have the top view system or bird eye or area angle. You have different names for this one. Okay. The red, the red circle is the swing radius of the machine. And the yellow one is the radius of the attachment when it's completely extended. As I see, the seat is very comfortable for the operator and uh, adjustable. It's... Um, Fully a suspension. Yes. Air compressed, okay, because the engine is not running. It's an atomic seat, as I understand. Okay, 
uh, what about the technology uh, that uh, an operator will meet here? So what we have now introduced with, with the generation 8 is, for example, this screen here. So this is the main screen, which will give you all the information of the machine. But you have in the same time a lot of new features coming. For example, you have some performance monitoring. You can see how many trucks the guy has loaded, what are the cycle time all of the, the machine, yes. what is, for example, here, the fuel consumption, the fuel consumption during the shift, what is the load factor of the engines, how many tons I have moved in the last couple of hours or in my shift. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, can that machine uh, recognize yeah. the weight of the bucket? Exactly. Oh. We have a truck loading assistant inside. You can see here. So here, this system, when the truck is coming near to the, to the excavator, the truck will be recognized. You have different selections. You can, for example, select here. So we can say, okay, I select now the T236. So it's a 100 ton payload. And when you start to dig, the machine will measure the weight inside of the bucket, so the payload. And when you are going over the dumb body and you are putting this over the dumb body, the system will tell you, okay, now you have to do three more passes, four more passes. It's giving you also the tendency if you are underloading the truck or overloading the truck. So it's a great information. Now it's not connected because we don't have a truck in front of us. Understand. But after, you can really see that the, the, the operator can really see what he has to do. So you see here, for example, here the bench height, here you will have the, the bucket load, here you will see how many tons you have already put in the dump body. That's the tendency, that's the number of passes, and this is also dynamic. So for example, if you have a very small bucket, at the end the system can tell you normally you should make four, but because you have one or two buckets not completely full, you have to put five. So all the information about the machinery is provided here, right? Yeah. And uh, this and this screen are the cameras? from sideways and uh, backwards. Exactly. Okay, so we have two different systems here because all the machines are CE certified and the CE certification does not allow that you're merging both together. You have to have the top view and the separate screen with the separate angle view or the, the separate cameras. That's why we have two different screens. Okay, guys, I don't know how to operate this. The only thing I know is that uh, it looks like an expensive room of, the, of, an ex, of an expensive hotel. So let me here alone, and uh, I don't uh, I don't want anything else. Thank you very much, Michel. Thank you very much. No problem. Zwei. Ah, hervorragend. Eine wunderschöne guten Morgen, herzlich willkommen auf der Baumann, herzlich willkommen hier. Dieser R 9300 wird von einer Verbrennungsmotor angetrieben, aber er hat auch mehrere Wege. Alles Gute zum Geburtstag an die Stelle. Happy Birthday, lieber Gerhard. Und es wird dem Liebherr Zahnsystem.